Kayla Tausche now with more on what went right for JP Morgan. Expectations for bank earnings may not have been high, but JP Morgan still blew them out of the water. The bank posted record full year profit and beat fourth quarter estimates handily. The bank, the largest in the U.S. by assets, saw mixed performance across its four business units. Loan growth in consumer and commercial banking did help, slower growth in investment banking, and outflows in asset management. The offense wasn't great. But we'll take flat revenues in an environment like this. But J.P. Morgan beat expectations on defense, lower expenses, lower assets. It did spend more than $1 billion to cover loans that could go bad. That was a lower amount than analysts expected. But only about a tenth of that total went to cover companies in the oil, gas, metals, and mining sector. As the price of oil and other commodities keeps sinking, it makes the companies in that sector less profitable, makes their debts harder to pay. Analysts asked the bank's CEO, Jamie Dimon, whether a year from now he'd look back and realize they'd underestimated that problem. We try to be very conservative always, and so we're not trying to put up as little as possible. You know me, I'd put up more if I could, but, you know, accounting rules dictate what you can do. Um, and, it's, and these are baskets of the real risk is in producing wells, cash flows are down, uh, surprisingly, the cost of getting to get the uh, oil out of the ground has also dropped dramatically. That optimism aside, investors have been selling financial shares. J.P. Morgan stock down 11 percent this year, despite rising 2 percent after earnings. But RBC's Gerard Cassidy said there's still growth around the corner, especially if the Fed raises rates again. The banks could earn higher yields on their loans while keeping payouts on deposits low. That's bad news for consumers who want to earn more on their savings, but it's music to the ears of shareholders. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche in New York.